All right. Hey, everybody. If you don't know me, my name's Zim. I've been streaming VR games for the last 10 years and uh, busy working today, so I missed the VR Games Showcase. First one of these, and I figured I'd watch my reactions live. It's only half an hour, so it's always fun to do these things together. All right, here we go. Content's not mine and all that, yada, yada. Let's see what these guys have to put on. I haven't spoiled anything. Get me right in the groove, right there, off the bat. Very good. Come on. Why is this all red? Oh no, it's a relaunch of feckin' Virtual Boy. <laughs> all right, that's it, man. XR Games. That's not a good studio name. It's very forgettable. XR Games. All right, look at this. Is that... Is that even 60 frames a second? Man, the original Hitman 3 and I go long back. I was not impressed. You are Agent 47. Acquire your target. Take control. Go okay. Anywhere. Rough headliner. Become anyone. I'm all about the gameplay, though. It's okay. Improvise. I don't need amazing visuals. And execute. Oh yeah, hit him with a wrench. Your and a banana. Your weapons. Your world in your hands. Go in, all guns blazing. Or stay concealed. Oh, I remember the two-handed the, the two-handed thing was really annoying. Is a weapon. It's an exploding duck. Great. Yeah, I remember like trying to like lay down the gun and then change the ammo and like it's not worth it like one gun's enough you really shouldn't be hitting old ladies okay okay little ode to pistol whip right there but no one is untouchable the garot that's cool okay 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 not bad not bad. Could be a fun game. It's got to be better than the PlayStation launch of Hitman 3, the original, because that was so bad. <laughs> Tracking when and everything. Hitman 3 VR Reloaded arrives on MetaQuest 3. Hey, Jamie. It will offer the true Agent 47 experience. Expect a fully overhauled control scheme designed specifically for VR. The ability to dual wield iconic weapons and hours of gameplay built upon the original game we all know and love. We can't wait to see what you know, XR Games and IO Interactive have in store. The nice thing is Jamie didn't disappoint, because I was like, if he doesn't wear this shirt for the show, I'll be mad. Showcase. Some of the best teams in the industry have been working tirelessly for months to bring you today's reveals and updates. Thank you to each of the seven studios that have supported this initiative and helped start something big for VR. So I suggested that maybe this was like a preview reel for, for Gamescom. To show you that VR is one of the best and most powerful places to play today. Rich stories that bring you deeper into incredible worlds. Immersive action that puts you right in the center of the experience. Compelling multiplayer that removes the boundaries of distance between you and your friends. Blue and red. And innovative ideas and interactions that are unlike anything else you've ever seen. Truly, this is one of the most exciting spaces in gaming right now. If you already have a headset, then we hope you enjoy the sneak peek at what's to come. If not, well, there's never been a better time. At least it's pre-recorded, right? Now, make sure to have your phone at the ready. Throughout today's show, you'll find QR codes taking you to the VR Game Showcase website. Ugh, I hate Just QR like codes. It's like you're watching on your phone and you're like, I can't. The information on How do I scan? You need like multiple devices. Plus more on our partners' other projects. Fair enough. But enough from me. First up, we are incredibly proud to host one of the industry's longest-running developers showing some love to an old classic. Who is Enjoy that? The show. An old classic? Tetris? That's been done. That's zombies. Uh-huh. This is Vertigo. That's Arizona Sunshine. Three? That's too soon. No, wait. What? Hey, a radio. Half-Life Alex? 
Yeah. Arizona Sunshine Edition. Oh! Right. The first one was really Ooh. solid. Let's do this. Damn it! Ah, it deserves a remake. Yeah, that's good. Kind of looks like... This is like when I played the remake of uh, Goldeneye. You know how your brain fills in the gaps? You're like, it, of course it looked like that. It didn't look like that. Oh, that mine level. Oh, no. Oh, that's pretty. They were pretty aggressive, I remember. Let's do this, Fred. This must be... Is that PC visuals? Because that's very sharp. Oh, and it's got all the DLC. The DLC wasn't great. I thought I'd say this, but I've missed you. <laughs> I've missed you, Arizona Sunshine. All right. PSVR 2. Cool. That must be a PSVR 2 then on screen, because that's not Quest. Uh, FYI, you give me like 10 like ten percent off for pre-order and you give me some skin or something, I hate that shit. If I ever do that in the game that I make, just cap me right then and there. What is this? Action hero. Bandit fighting. Oh, this is the FTL one that we didn't know what it was. All right, fast, faster than travel. Raptors? This is weird. Slow-mo action. What is this? Gazzlers mixed with... Bullet time? It's like a silly arcade title? Cut. Super hot. <laughs> a superhero. Driven by crazy spectacle and approachable design, Action Hero is a cinematic Not for me. IP from fast travel games that works both as a blockbuster shooter for VR veterans. These studios keep trying new jumping on point for different things, game. you know. And That's okay. It'll probably be successful. It's inspirations. For what it's it is, also you know. It's great to see the original Arizona Sunshine Back in action with a full remake of the 2016 well, game. Well, I agree, Jamie. VR That's... veterans will no doubt remember Arizona as one of the first. The amount of beckon recycles that we're going to get in the next few years. In solo and co -op. Especially when you get like AI remake upscaling and stuff. The original award-winning game, completely rebuilt with stunning graphics. They had to just redo that all by themselves. Like two years from now, and AI will just yes, do it for you, there will be and it'll look even better. For those that own the original game. Gorgeous VR Starting graphics. Cute. US dollars. Check your platform for more details. Oh, now, 10 bucks for an upgrade? From a studio that's made nice. Waves in VR this past year. That's great. That's Go smart. Good pricing. Nothing short of a sensation. Earning over $10 million in its early access phase alone. I like Game of Thrones better. Today, we're excited to get fresh looks at what's next from Combat Waffle Studios. Combat Waffle. Good name for a studio. I've met some of them. They're like legitimate people. What is this then? This is Tabor? I don't know Tabor very well, other than the, the tutorial at the beginning was like, just drove me away from the game. And the core game, a lot of people love it. Why are they in spacesuits? The feck is going on here? You thought an AK-47 was tough to handle before. Wait until we put you in a feckin' spacesuit. Oh god. At least they're showing native quest graphics. They're like, this is what you're actually gonna get. That's good, I, I can respect that. Oh no, they were captured on PC. Hang on a second. Oh, grit? What? The feck is it? Oh, Silent North, this is the one I wanted to... Oh, it's the Daisy clone. Inspired by. Spiritual successor. Ooh. Alright, make it hardcore, guys. Make it feckin' hardcore, not arcadey. Focus on survival. Oh, God, it looks like that Medal of Honor web app title. Oh, no. Oh, God, look at the zombies. Okay, they could be okay. Promise me. The art design could be okay. 
Each each character model looks like they're in pain. Okay. You can justify it however you want. Just make the gameplay good. Alright, come in with the hip-hop slash R&B track. Of course. Alright, what's happening? Is this... Is this PvPVE? Silent North. Another tantalizing Beyond Frames trailer. God Both damn it. Grim and Silent North are also brought to you by one of the industry's biggest supporters, Beyond Frames Entertainment. Right. In 2020, they took us down the rabbit hole. I like Grim's logo, by the way. Unforgettable VR adventure. Now, we're excited to head back to Wonderland. Or, rather, escape from it. Oh. <laughs> this could be cool. Oh, that looks nice. Where you'd wow. Land. That's better than the trailer we saw. So deep Look at that. Sleep to a place beyond imagination. Where am I? This is such an, an interesting niche. Of reality unravels. I love storytelling in VR. I really do. Oh, it's first person? Looks pretty good. It's very sharp. What are you doing in here, little girl? What was that, a lizard? A compass. Huh? Hello. What? Was that the same voice artist who who did Demio? My oh my, do you see what I see, Tweedledee? You seem brave. I'll just follow you around everywhere. I don't actually care who you are. So puzzles. Completely worthless. Story. No, I don't think there is. Yeah. It's a good name. Escaping Wonderland. I wonder what you get when you get out. There's another banana! What's it with bananas in this feckin' special? That's two bananas so far. Two! Two bananas too many. Gotta censor them. What is this? Captured on PC. Okay, people have no eyeballs. This is what happens when you grow up with your kids looking at tablets. Okay, that's a cool gun. What? It's a crotch biter. It's a crotch biter. No, what is it? Is this mannequin? What is this? It's almost like Alien vs. Predator style. Oh, it is mannequin! I've never played it, actually. So the gun is also a scanner. That's neat. And there's dark matter. You could be an alien, like being a gray. Yeah, it's nice. This is sharp. It's it's weird. We get such a mix of quality these days. Like VR is either like super good looking or like all washed out like hell. Like the Hitman trailer. Like all the textures are about two kilobytes. Madigan. That's just multiplayer, right? Fast travel. I think so. All right. Well, let's keep going. Frenzies. Forenzies! That's End Dreams. I think this will be fun. Welcome, contestant. This is Frenzy. I wonder if we'll catch on. VR PvP arena shooter from Near Light and End Dreams. I'm not a huge fan of arena shooters, I'll be honest. Frenzies unites pure PvP shooter precision and hyper responsive It's just like with the unhinged chaos of randomized round types, so it... maps, and team matchups. Okay. Whatever the rules say, oh, yeah. you are here to win. Randomized. Lots. Lots of randomization. Customization, which probably means microtransactions, but we'll see. The vibrant but brutal world of frenzies. The customization station is where you put together your look for the arena. Kids love customization, it's like... Are you even winning if you don't look good doing it? Head over to the gun That's station cute. and get acquainted with the hardware. Whatever your play style, there's something big, shiny, and deadly for you. Try the <sighs> Okay. When you're ready, join the lobby and meet your fellow contestants. Friends, foes, basically everyone you plan on beating today. Check out the screens to see what Those lobbies are just pure chaos. Celebrate or more and just kids calling each other racial slurs. <laughs> <laughs> they don't look so tough. Oh god. Why can't we all just be friends? Or frenzies. Oh, I missed one there. Wallops. 
cool portal. Like a mirror ball. This reminds me of Sprint Vector, the color scheme, and the kind of crazy looking characters. Man, Sprint Vector is a game that they need to bring back. That game was sick. Or maybe not. It was very hard. It was tiring. Like the whole time you'd play it. Glitter Pig? What does Glitter Pig do? Oh, I guess you have to hold on to it. It's like King of the Hill. Enjoy it while you can. Anything could happen in the next match. Oh, and if you're the winner, you get to be giant? That's a cool Join feature. Early access for I like that. This you're like, look at all of my cosmetics that I paid for, or maybe earned with hard work. See you in the arena. Probably paid for. That's good. But like, I wonder, is there licensed music like running the whole time you're playing the game, or do they have their own soundtrack? Or was that just original soundtrack? It's hard to tell. It feels young. Okay, early access. I'll play with it. Let's see what's next. Escaping They're halfway there. Mannequin and frenzies are experiences that can truly only work in VR. <laughs> Wonderland immerses you further into the worlds of Lewis Carroll. Out of those three, Mannequin I think I like Mannequin the least. To fool your friends. And well, who doesn't want to make certain explicit hand gestures in the middle of a frenzies firefight? Still to come, we've got a brand new middle finger support confirmed. Games and a first look at what's to come from flat to vr studio oh yeah still wondering what flatter today isn't coming just with about games coming your way soon we're also excited to show you some projects either graduating from early access okay or finding their way onto new platforms uh okay new platforms what the hell's this okay that lady is overdressed for vr it's way too hot you know that is... Is this rock band? The feck is this? Now they're showing Quest 2. It's like, we've done this before and failed multiple times in VR. I don't th I I've never seen this succeed except for maybe Smash Drums. Band Space. Okay, it's a good name, but they're clearly just trying to cash in on a rock band. There's Into the Radius. Two. Good old CM. They're, they're very good at reaching out to creators, I'll say. Is that another guitar? That's my favorite part. Of our free will Cleaning your gun. You will access advanced and reliable equipment. <laughs> reliable. Eh, uh, I don't know. Balanced nutrition. Latest technology. Yeah, I wouldn't put a pineapple on a knife in my mouth that way. I do not like those, like, gray-white creature things. Ah, oh, man. I have to appreciate it for what it is, but it's... It's too uncomfortable for me to play Into the Radius. I just don't like the feeling of it, you know? But look at that. It looks beautiful. Oh, it's coming to PSVR 2. Wait, that was Into the Radius 1. What is this? I know this game. Oh, what's this game? Um, F me. What's that? Okay, let's do this. Maybe I don't know this game. Oh no, I do. Oh, it's it's a port. Oh, fracked. Okay, it's colorful. I didn't. Nothing to write home about, in my opinion. It's uh, yeah, it's very very passable. Unfortunately, that one. Cool name. Like, look at that logo. Looks sick. So some people are going to be like, yeah, let's pick that up. Let's see what the reviews say. Three. I love Shell. Two. Oh my god. That's that's amazing. That game, Silent Slayer, is Silent like Slayer, both of the vampire, incredible. This is probably for you. Oh my gosh, I forgot how tense this bloody game is. 
I'm gonna have a heart attack. Not gonna lie, I am actually getting quite anxious. This is gonna be very difficult to be able to pull this off because my hands are literally shaking. Dude, you gotta have the hands of a surgeon, I tell you. Every level, they give you something new and interesting to proceed with. Yeah, yeah. Si Silent Slayer, like, where... Is it going somewhere else? Is it going PSVR 2 or something? Do not move. I actually really, really like I played it on Quest. Or I'm playing it on Quest. Creepy because they make you get close in order to get this done. Yeah, it's that that game that game is so undersung. All these creepy sounds. I hundred percent am glad that they are showing this off. Noise behind me, and I'm too scared to look. That game, that game, it's so funny. But it's something about the tension here is intense. Dark. A great time, but also a terrifying time, taking out all these vampires. Oh, they're they're really they're really really cool. I'm not moving. Now available. So they just paid for a promo spot, which is totally Hi, awesome. I'm Jesse Shell, Jesse's CEO cool. Of Shell Games, a studio specializing in XR experiences for both entertainment and education. Yep. I'm so excited about what mixed reality makes possible. The ability for virtual characters. To if you don't know, Jesse's been doing this since the beginning. Furniture. The ability to bridge the space what is this? between your home and the homes of other people. It's just incredible. Shell just... Games has some super fun mixed reality projects in development right now, and we can't wait to share more about them in the coming months. A huge thank you to everyone who is helping to invent this amazing future. Enjoy the rest of the show. You should you should look up Shell Games lenses. Thanks amazing for game developers. Shell really cool. Stopping by the showcase to talk more about Shell Games work in MR. Very nice. This is an area of the industry with tremendous potential. And while we want to keep today's focus primarily on cinematic VR games, we know there's a lot to talk about in this space too. So, we're happy to announce that next month on September 25th, we'll be hosting our first XR Indies and Friends Showcase. This is a celebration of the incredible what? work Indies and other studios are doing- Did they just nest? Fun, but also with amazing new VR experience. A second showcase into their first showcase? Share shortly. And if you're interested in taking part, please reach out via the VR Game Showcase website. But don't worry, we're not done with today just yet. I wasn't worried. I know you got me. Captured on PC, huh? Meat space. What the feck are you on, on Dreams? What is this? Cool sound. Cult action paradise. It It's like pistol whip and and um, super hot had a child. The style is pretty sick. I give him that. Okay, or nice opera singer. Thank you. Cut to the good part. It, it, that's it. I feel like I'm looking at a, a variant of kind of like Autica with weapons because it's like a Vendetta forever Kill to move All right Did I see PSVR 2 on there? <laughs> Vendetta forever looks sensational. All right stylish combat with an innovative approach to movement in VR. Not bad. Don't miss out on the free demo available today on the MetaQuest store. Now, earlier this year, cool. a new studio turned heads with its promise to bring classic flat screen experiences to VR. Since then, Flat to VR Studios has been hard at oh. work on bringing titles both new and old to headsets. All right. So this is our one more thing. All right, Flat. Or should I say several more things? Several. Thought you said one. What's this about? All right, this is it so looks stunning and it feels like a native VR game. The team has created it in such a way, this really feels like it's almost just the natural way of playing the game. Okay, guys, this is amazing. This is a whole new ball game. 
This feels like a true native VR product. The visuals are crisp, the 3D is stunning. Isn't this what we've been begging for for literally seven years straight? <laughs> At VR Studios, a team of people whose only job it is to take flat screen games and then make them VR. And these are, this is powerful. It's low hanging fruit, honestly. Because you take a, an existing classic and then. It's not like. What the hell is that? I don't recognize it. I probably should know it. It's not like Hexen or something, is it? What the feck is that? It could be Hexen. It's proper old school. What the feck is that? What the feck is that? Okay, this is proper old though. They love they love their old stuff. Wrath. Never heard of it. Never heard of it. The feck is that? Is that old? Okay. PSVR 2? Hell yeah. I love that. I do like those kinds of games though. So it's pretty neat. I hope that means it'll be properly sold and it's not just like a mod. What is this? And develop for MetaQuest, Steam VR, and PSVR 2. What the hell is this? Okay, it's a racing game. It's arcadey. It's, it's a lot of people will like this. We don't have we don't have arcadey racers. Flat out. Another name that I don't know. Okay, another PSVR 2 title. Cool. I love seeing the PSVR 2 love. What is this then? This looks fast paced, colorful, shooter, vibrant. I don't know, not a, like, if you're doing a flat conversion, I would say go story. Like go story heavy titles. I would have thought. These all seem like Robo Quest. See, I was hoping to have like one big heavy hitter type of thing, like a name that I knew. Those three games I have never heard of before. They could be brand new games for all I care. Like, they don't seem that special to me. The racer was pretty cool. Is that Mickey Mouse? One day. It's not like Kingdom Hearts or something, is it? Did they bring Kingdom Hearts? I don't think so. You must too. Tr what? Why is there a trombone? Okay, this is... No, seriously, is that like Kingdom Hearts or something? Holy wow. What the feck is this? It's a trombone game? It's a music game. I mean, don't read my face as I don't think this could work. I, I certainly think that this kind of... Th oh, it's got cards in there as well. Richard Strauss? Oh, God. You can learn about music history and... Uh, and trombone. How are you actually tromboning, though? <laughs> what the feck? Are you singing it? How does it work? Trombone champ? Unflattened. That's going to confuse people. Not the best name. I would have just gone trombone champ VR, but eh. <laughs> trombone champ Wrath flatulent robo quest trombone champ four classic games getting the vr treatment thanks to the team at flat to VR. i've been in vr too long i don't know any of them i think we can all agree that's one heck of a lineup for the team's first projects from co-streamers and creatives to our developer partners and of i like the slide you. Thank you to everyone that's made the debut VR Oh god, what's the one that I'm... Today is just the start of our journey. Still Silent VR North, I think. return in early 2025. 
and we're already preparing a massive lineup to see in the new year. We'll continue to bring the most exciting projects in the industry, both in our core showcase and next month's XR Indies and Friends event. All right. If your media or solid show is heading to Gamescom, don't forget to check out the home of XR booth, where many of today's titles and some others will be on display in the business area. For now, thanks for watching, and we'll see you September 25th for XR Indies and Friends. Jamie is incredibly vanilla, isn't he? Just doing a recap here of the games. What else is good? I have no idea what Grimm's about. No idea. Arizona Sunshine Remake is like, that's good for new players. Maybe Escaping Wonderland and maybe Hitman 3, maybe. That was decent. That was cool. All right. For the ones who build it. Yeah, maybe not. Um, but like, I wanted to just check out that. Oh shit! Fix can I not? Maintain it. There's Granger. You can count on Granger. You gotta, you gotta love the uh, the ads and stuff. Well, I just wanted to see if we could. Yeah, I don't want to do that. What are you doing? You can autoplay. All right, we're going back to the summary slide, which is where was it? Right there. Okay. Cool. Oh, I just missed it. There we are. So, Escaping Wonderland. Escaping Wonderland. It's a pity that I can't, like, keep this on screen for a minute. Let's just do it this way. I like it without the stuff on there. So, Escaping Wonderland. Silent North. Hitman 3, maybe. Uh, Silent Slayer was already out, but that's cool. Trum trombone champ might might be fun might be fun it's hard to tell actually if that's going to be any good but look that was me that was my reaction to the first ever vr games showcase i thought that would just be a fun way to kind of interact since we couldn't do it live together and um yeah tell me what your thoughts were what were your favorite games um uh, i yeah I, I still think silent slayer <laughs> even though it's already out is probably the best in that in that set but that's pretty cool. All right, that's me out. See ya.